Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're all well and welcome back to the beautiful underwater world of Subnautica where actually today we're going to be spending most of our time above water. So here we are on the not so secret secret island where I have revamped my base. I have a floodlight here just to light that cave up at night time and today guys I'm going to show you some of the new features in the game. We have a communications relay here which doesn't really do anything yet. And you can see my awesome parking over there. So the newest addition is the farming. So on the inside of a base, you could plant these indoor planters. And then, uh, well, plant. Put things in them, like these mushrooms that I have in here. This base is a work in progress, so it's not, uh, it's not fully finished, guys. Also, these new living wall plates. Um, you can't really do anything with them. It'd be nice if you could grow, like, something on them. But at the moment, they're just kind of there just to look pretty, I guess. Especially when you haven't seen anything green for a while, if you're really deep in the ocean somewhere in your base. I'm guessing most people have seen the aquarium already, so I won't show you guys that. And here's the new specimen analyzer, which looks a little bit more fancy than before. And some planters, which haven't got any plants in them at the moment. And uh, before I go back down, you can just about see there the new spotlights. Now, it's not nighttime, but you can see them going. And if you have an underground or... Sorry, underground. Well, you could have it underwater and underground. Base, which is really dark, they're useful for uh, spotting things. So, this is the indoor grow bed, and this is the exterior one. Now, this one can be underwater as well, which is really cool. So, if you've got any underwater mushrooms, you can grow those. And uh, the chair and table, I'm not sure when these were added, but I can show you these real quick. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, at the moment, they're kind of adding a lot of aesthetical things to the game. Which is great, because the bases do look a bit bland. But now we can make it look a little bit more like people are actually living here. So there's the desk and the chair that apparently I can't sit on. I'm sure you're supposed to be able to, but apparently I can. But anyway, it's decorative and it's nice. So, the other new addition to the game is abandoned bases somewhere around here. I'm still looking for it at the moment. Ah, there it is, on top of that cliff over there. It might take a while to get... Oh, there's one here. We'll check this one out first. So I'm not sure what we're going to find, but I'm guessing some good loot. Oh, there's some head crabs down there. I know they're not called head crabs, but, you know, Half-Life fan here. Alright. Well, they don't seem to be bothering attacking me at the moment. Oh, a PDA. Ah, so they've added some law to the game. That's cool. Oh, go away. And just lock them in a time bubble. Ooh, some rare plants. I'll take these. So yeah, if you're reading that, guys, it looks like they're trying to make it apparent that you weren't the only person who crash-landed on this mysterious world. So it's good they're adding some uh, backstory, some extra lore to the game. Because it is still in early access. So I got really, really high up on this cliff, thinking I was going to that base. But there's actually another base on top of this cliff, so... No harm, no foul. I was going to get really angry that I'd got all the way up here and <laughs> got on the wrong mountain, but if we can just... There we go. If we get up here... Oh, we, <laughs> we may find some good loot up here. You have to be careful climbing in uh, Subnautica because, well, that can happen. Luckily, I wasn't catapulted. Got some more PDAs, perhaps? No. Nope. No. That's a shame. Well, again, it looks like there's some rare plants, and I haven't got this weird-looking thing. So I'll take that. I love the way I keep my flippers on as well. Perfect for climbing. And so we'll make our way over to this one. Still making our way up. <laughs> it's so hard to climb in Subnautica, probably because of these flippers. 
steady. So there's nothing outside again. Oh, there's a, a vibrating loot crate. Which had some disinfected water in it, which I guess is better than nothing, but I was hoping for something a bit more. Wow, I've not seen that before. Hanging fruit. Well, we could take some of this if I can make a little bit of space. Um... See, so yeah, all these are new plants. They're rotten, but I believe I can replant them. If I can make a little bit of space in my inventory here. Um, yeah, we should should be fine. Yep, yeah, I had just enough room to pick one up. And it's getting dark real quick, so I'm going to call it a day here, guys, because I'm not going to move down in the dark. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.